we, we hear that the balloon has landed. The balloon landed about 2.45, I believe. Uh, ah. It landed in northeastern Colorado, Ooh. had a great flight, literally went to the edge of the atmosphere, you know, up uh, below 100,000 feet. <gasps> That's about 99% of the atmosphere. Wow. This balloon today went up to 93,000 feet. And we launched it from downtown Denver. It is the first time in history that has ever been done. We had to have special FAA clearance to do it. And our friends at Edge of Space Science handled the launch for us. This is video from the balloon. We actually had two balloon mounted cameras there dangling below the balloon as part of the payload. And this is the edge of the atmosphere. You can actually see the Earth glow at the edge of the atmosphere as the balloon reached 93 thousand feet and then after burst the balloon gets up there it expands to about 50 feet in diameter it bursts and then it comes down using a parachute in northeastern Colorado and our chase teams along with our own Enrico Meyer and Steve Spangler were there to get it. Steve's on his way back he's got even more great video and we hope to have some new pictures for you coming up at five o'clock. That's unbelievable. And it expands because of a lack of atmosphere, is that, that why? Well that's right. You fill it with a certain a number of gas molecules, if you will, and when the pressure around the balloon gets lower and lower and lower as you go higher in the atmosphere, the balloon gets bigger and bigger. And I, I had a couple people say, well, we saw that balloon you guys launched and it didn't look very big. Well, you have to start with them small. You can't, you can't inflate it all the way down at the bottom because it wouldn't go up as high because the balloon would burst sooner. Right. So you have to give it room to grow. And they, they literally do. It's a, it's a relatively small balloon. It's about 8 to 10 feet in diameter at launch. When it bursts, and, and today it burst at 93,000 feet. It was about 45 to 50 feet in diameter. Wow. We had a payload uh, hanging down on the back side of it with about five different items on there, some tracking items, a, a, a little experiment, a couple of cameras, and two flags that we signed at Coors Field put on the, on the uh, payload, sent them to the top of the atmosphere, and Steve Spangler is bringing those back as well. That's amazing. You guys, you know, they never do anything just small no. or average no. on this no. day. Well. You go this big is, right. and better this every is time. Literally, you, you can't fly this high. I mean, it, it went as high as you can go without being in a spaceship.